So, uh, so Bitcoin's trading just under 70K. It feels like we're trading a little bit of ping pong here. It's just bouncing around. We had some decent PPI numbers. Everyone got excited. It bounced off a nice little zone and now they're sending it back down. So lots of games at the moment. It feels like lots of sideways here on BTC. And then today we're dealing with this Uniswap situation. Uh, they did a fee switch and then next thing the SEC is all over them. So there's legal action here. Everyone's bearish on Uni. I'm going to give you a Uni plan and uh, then... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a uni plan today. Then I'm going to give you uh, a couple of tokens and a couple of stocks that could be a nice little hedge. That could be a good little runner uh, for you guys with all this uni FUD. We need to understand where uh, can we move to and what is potentially going to benefit from this bad news. So we've got a lot to talk about today, guys. Let's get right into this. Big story today, and, and, and it's showing here on Banter Bubbles. It's clear as day. Minus almost 19% currently for uni. That chart is looking uh, very sad at the moment, but we might have a nice little bounce setup coming uh, for uni as well. So stick around. I'm going to show you the plan. I'm going to tell you what is actually going on, and uh, then we're going to talk about these other uh, these other tokens as well. So there could be a setup brewing, even for a bounce uh, on uni. We know when there's FUD, people tend to get a little bit dramatic, and uh, the shorts start piling up late. So maybe there is going to be a move coming coming here uh, on uni and then neo looking good today tower we had a binance listing that's why uh, there was a little bit of pumpage there uh, on tower i'll cover that one now we had a nice bullish setup that i showed you guys on twitter uh, a couple of days ago and uh, it eventually played out but now are the bulls going to hold this tower uh, and uh, and keep the move going ton we know it's just ton time uh, the last couple of days so that's eight percent up and uh, look a nice little mixed bag here but i must say uh, as an altcoin uh, preferred trader things i like to do i'm not having as much fun uh, as we could be having at the moment we just need btcs to start playing ball and uh, dominance to start operating for us so uh, this is the current situation we are playing with right now this is btc on the four hour these are levels uh, that i am now watching closely on btc you guys saw yesterday i was in a long uh, that i'd added to from this uh, from this low here uh, on the 618 bounce that we had yesterday i'm still sitting in that position uh, there was a lovely tp area up here for me and uh, i didn't tp and am i now going to pay the price uh, for holding on a little bit too long so we're going to look at that one uh, shortly right now what do i need to pay attention to the lows big level 67600 traders watch this area here 67600 then we've got our big weekly area here 68800 that's a massive zone for us you can see we've got the 618 pool from the low uh, from yesterday and then we also have the 618 uh, bounce pool uh, from the highs to the previous lows there so we know and this is a massive weekly zone for us this is a huge area uh, in terms of bitcoin and basically the whole crypto market uh, right now it's uh, it's essentially feeling like if we start losing that we're going to be in a bear town for a little bit longer so uh, a big area here for me 68 800 and uh, what am i watching closely right now you can see if we zoom in here we are getting a little bounce on the 382 trend and horizontal retest uh, at the moment so pay attention to the 69 800 uh, at the moment we could get some kind of move here and uh, i just want to zoom in for you guys and just show you a little bit what happened today uh, we started bleeding out into the ppi news and the ppi data uh, came out for us this is the 15 minute chart and uh, we were bleeding into this region and as that data dropped we had a beautiful pump uh, in the markets the s p pumped as well bitcoin pumped and uh, things were looking good and all they've done for the last couple of hours is now bleed us back down so uh, if you are zooming in you can see they're trying to form some kind of support here uh, at this 382 region so keep your eyes on this area here uh, 69 600 watch that uh, if you are looking for some kind of bounce or some kind of move here keep your eyes on that level and uh, then pay attention to uh, the zoomed out bigger picture zones that we need to watch so uh, we'll see how btc plays out during the course of the show maybe uh, things are going to start moving nicely for us and maybe some of these else uh, that i'm going to show you are going to give us a little bit of a move so uh, let's uh, let's take a look at what's going on out there so just to uh, recap here we had ppi and uh, quite bullish actually well point uh, point one percent better and uh, the market really loved that but uh, is it sustainable we're gonna have to wait and see and uh, yada with a nice little post here today saying we're just a few days away from the btc halving and uh, here's a comparison of the price action from the previous halving versus now 
basically he's telling you we're just getting started or if you look at history here uh, as to what's been going on it does look like we get a nice upside move for the next few months uh, after this halving but it doesn't mean we can't get shaken out before it doesn't mean they can't sideways us and then dump us uh, and pump us both ways and do some liquidations before uh, this all happens so just pay attention and uh, mr crypto also a nice little count uh, to follow he says bitcoin tends to really go exponential uh, after the halving so we've seen this chart before uh, this rec capital chart that uh, he keeps posting it's a very similar uh, looking chart but you can see after the halving generally what does history tell us history tells us uh, that uh, btc does get a nice little push uh, after that halving so a little bit of bull sauce still floating around there uh, for everybody and uh, this is massive and uh, i don't know i mean there hasn't been much of a big deal being made about it other than a couple of posts floating around but let's not forget hong kong is going to announce a spot or potentially announce a spot bitcoin etf uh, in uh, four days time i mean that could be pretty bullish for the market we know what happened last time we got an etf uh, we pumped into the etf announcement then we had the dump and then immediately afterwards uh, things started pushing higher for us so keep your eyes uh, on uh, the 15th of april let's see uh, what happens with that announcement and uh, then i'm paying uh, close attention to this liquidation heat map at the moment and uh, the bulls and the, and the bears are pretty much evenly weighted here uh, at the moment. And this is why I've put out a poll uh, in the chats for you guys. So go to the uh, description there uh, in the show. Look at the chats. There is a poll sitting there. I want to do a sentiment check. I just want to know how you guys are feeling out there and, uh, you know, what uh, what the current feeling is. You you won't be, uh, you know, you, you won't be alone if you're saying you're feeling a little bit confused uh, at the moment. It has been quite tricky out there. So uh, I'm keen to just see a sentiment check here. Let's, uh, let's just update it quickly and see where we are uh 77 bulls uh watching the show okay 23 23 bearish and uh, i mean ray you know you know what happens in the past when we have too many bulls floating around uh we tend to have to you know start uh, being a little bit more cautious and start looking uh at uh, potential moves uh in other directions so uh let's just pay attention to the sentiment and what we've learned in the past is uh you know when the whole world is feeling bullish sometimes we just need to be a little bit careful there you remember what happened last time, right? Exactly. I think manipulation to the downside, but max pain is upside. Max pain, upside. Eh? Okay. Um, okay. So my 77% bulls. Okay. Well, I've been feeding you some bull sauce. So, uh, you know, it is, it is helpful. And uh, stock money lizards loving these guys. And uh, this was a post they made the other day, a couple of days back. But they're basically saying, don't get shaken out. Okay. Be prepared for a lot of up, a lot of down uh, for, the next, uh, for the next while. And just be prepared to be attempted you know, an attempt at a shakeout uh, on you guys. So if you are holding spot, you don't have much to worry about. Uh, if you are overall bullish, then you don't have too much to worry about. If you're holding high leverage, well, you need to be careful. You need to watch what the games are. You need to understand what these guys are doing to you. <laughs> um, okay so it's part of the game okay btc uh, update we seem to be pushing a little bit and uh, here's my current trade situation here um so this is still this position that i uh, added to yesterday so uh, if you remember i added on that first 382 then i added on the next level uh, lower down so this thing is green at the moment i'm paying close attention and uh, prime xbt i'm using and uh, you can see they've got a nice little uh, format here where you can actually see your stops on the screen and uh, i've staggered my stops around here uh, on prime xbt and what you can actually do is drag them uh, to different zones and you can just move them around manually uh, without putting it in so uh, what i've done here is i've got to stop just below my entry to, to, to cut a portion uh, of the size if it does start pushing lower and uh, then i've got strategically placed stops uh, at other areas so i don't want a situation where you know they come down they push me down and then suddenly they they try and grab stops and they send it straight back up and uh, i've got nothing left so i've strategically uh, placed some exit points there in case uh, they want to send this thing lower. So that is my current game plan. I'm obviously hoping for this 3A2 and trend bounce, but uh, prepare to hold on to that 68, 800 level. Uh, and you can see my stop, my first stop is actually just under that 68, 800 level in case they want to come uh, and ping us out. So uh, check out Prime XPT if you want to trade uh, these things with me. Uh, you can also trade the SP and uh, you can also uh, go long, short SP, gold, silver, uh, and all these things as well uh, using Prime XPT. So check it out. KYC friendly and a 7% sign up bonus for you. Um, okay, uh, here is the SP, speaking of which, and uh, we had that nice little move down uh, with, uh, with uh, PPI. We had a nice little pump and now, a couple of games going on here uh, with uh, with the S 
S&P. And we're seeing a correlation now lately. It's looking a lot, uh, they're looking a lot more similar. Uh, you know, to where they were in the past, the way they are behaving. So uh, interesting games they are playing at the moment. But right now, for me, levels on the S&P that I'm watching, uh, 5,100 or 5,130, call it that. And uh, I would like to see some kind of more downside here on the S&P. We are looking, you know, at a potentially uh, some kind of bull flag here while they just load things up again and, uh, you know, move it to the next, uh, move it to the next send. Um, okay. Bull source. Monthly chart looking good, according to Macro CRG. And uh, what is Benjamin Cowan doing? Now, we know he's a big bear, okay? And he loves talking about dominance. And you can see I'm talking about dominance so often here uh, with you guys. And uh, what's, uh, what's he saying is this is not what alt season looks like okay so he's saying you know btc is sucking liquidity and this is a bullish bullish looking uh dominance chart so i've made it very simple uh for you guys i've got a simple little system uh that i've put together for you guys so basically if you follow these arrows that i put in here for you if we do get a pop uh, of this region so you can see we in this weekly resistance now it's looking quite bullish it's pushing into uh, a weekly resistance band if we do get a pop okay while we riding up we know okay these alts have less fun and that's a very nice way of saying these alts are going to get slapped okay these alts are going to get punished and uh, you know we'll call it less fun but if we do get this push up uh, we could be in a little bit of pain here uh, on some of the alts especially if uh, there's a btc dump or btc is going sideways and this dominance starts pumping we're going to start feeling some heat in the altcoins where do we have fun well we have fun uh, on the rejection so anytime this dominance is pushing down we have more fun uh, with these altcoins so these are my two massive zones that i'm watching this hasn't changed and we are getting very close to decision time here uh, on this dominance chart we it looks like we are a week or two away from a big move here either way either a pop up or a pop down but something has got to give here we have been squeezing uh, into this region for too long now and uh, you know we are waiting for we are waiting for a moment and uh, perhaps it's going to be up perhaps it's going to be down but we need to be uh, prepared for both scenarios here Okay, I see Abid Khan says he loves to watch banter. Look, there is so much banter going on. There's Kyle, Sheldon, uh, Run, obviously, me, Gustavo, uh, Fefe. There's a whole operation going on here at banter. Uh, you need uh, quite a few hours in your day to watch uh, to watch all the banter shows. Uh, let's see, Jerun, what do you got saying? He's saying he wants altcoins to bounce. Uh, where else? Uh, where else do we have? Vincent says, my guy, Ray. <laughs> Jelani says, VRA already knows what's coming. Eh? Um, okay, who else is here? Who else is, where's michelle i haven't seen michelle uh in the chats uh in the chats for a while here uh loss says uh rion says gummy that like button so guys just a very important reminder uh there's a gummy airdrop coming okay for those of you that don't know there's an uh, a meme coin coming from banter called gummy it's a free airdrop that is going to all the community and all you need to do is be involved on some of the exchanges so what you can do uh, is go into the description of the show i'm just going to open this for you quickly and you can sign up to one of the exchanges here, Blowfin. Okay, so take a look here. Uh, Gummy, it says Gummy launching on 420, obviously. And uh, look at the sign up to Blowfin and uh, you can take part in this Gummy airdrop. So if you want a piece of this free uh, meme coin, you want a piece of this free token, get onto Blowfin, sign up here with that link and you will automatically then be eligible uh, to get part of that airdrop. So make sure uh, you are involved in that uh, situation. Okay, before we go onto this Uniswap drama, let's just look at Solana because I know there's a big soul community out there and uh, you know Solana also playing a little bit of ping pong for us uh, at the moment and uh, looking interesting though because it's holding this nice little 160 level that we keep talking about. So if you are in Sol and uh, if you are trading Sol, or you're sitting in Sol position, your big zone that you need to pay attention to, don't want to change this now. It's a weekly area. We've got a 382 weekly pool. It's a strong zone. We've got a 50 day moving average. And every time Solana seems to come down into this region, 160, it seems to give a nice little bounce. So pay attention to this level. If you are a range trader uh, and things like that, that's a nice area where you want to pick up uh, sole longs you want to try and buy in those zones there looking for the bounces obviously if the market starts falling over uh, and things getting messy you need to just plan a little bit lower but right now 160 for me on solana is a massive area uh, that you can trust that you can pay attention to and if we lose that zone you're looking uh, at about 139 uh, 140 as your next big banger so watch those areas we know there's still soul fud out there we know uh, the network's a little bit slow but the minute that thing changes and the minute a patch comes out or some kind of bullish news comes out we know solana is going to recover very quickly 
and uh, things are going to start flying. Okay, uh, so Uniswap, uh, you know, if you haven't been around for the last 24 hours, well, basically what's happened here is Uniswap, we're looking at something called a fee switch, and uh, they were playing a few games, and uh, basically the SEC has now come to them and said they're going to sue them, and uh, basically it's an attack on DeFi, it's attack on uh, on uni and uh, it's we've seen it in the price it's got absolutely hammered uh, in the last 24 hours and uh, then the 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 boss man of uh, uniswap has come out and uh, with a nice little answer i'm not going to bore you by reading this thing but if you're interested uh, as to what the the saga is all about or what's going on you can read his reply it's hayden.eth uh, on twitter give him a follow and uh, let's most importantly take a look at this Uniswap chart. I mean, it's looking very sad. Do you remember the days when we had that beautiful pump on Uniswap? I mean, I can't remember the size of the move, but uh, I had extreme FOMO uh, when this thing absolutely took off. I mean, this was something uh, This was something magical. It was 150% uh, in a couple of days there on Uniswap, and they're giving it all back. And another key lesson on crypto in general, take profit, take profit, take profit, because you never know what's around the corner. You never know what is coming back uh, for you guys. I mean, it's a full round trip. When people were buying Uniswap at the top, they were not believing that Uniswap could come back down to the levels that it's pushing into right now. But if you are holding Uniswap or you're sitting in a Uniswap position, this is your moment now. Um, I'm going to give you an area that I think you will get some kind of relief. You'll get some kind of relief bounce. Uh, they can't sell this thing all the way to zero. Surely not. And, uh, you know, at some point, they're going to give some kind of bounce. So I've identified a hot zone for you here where you're going to get some kind of reaction. I would expect. Why is this a nice area for me? Well, you can see it's a daily resistance, old daily old resistance zone, which is going to act as some kind of support for us. We've got a 786 fib coming in here for you as well. And I've got the 200 day moving average pushing up slowly uh, at around about 7.4, holding up this region. So I want to suggest look for a reaction in this area. Watch what happens when Uniswap moves into this area. It could potentially start slowing down. Uh, or consolidating in that zone. And by the time it gets there, there's going to be a ton uh, of late shorters here in this region. They're going to be shorting, shorting, shorting onto major support here. And uh, quite often you can get some kind of slingshot effect here. And uh, this thing can bounce 10, 15 percent uh, quite easily once uh, once we start getting tired. Because remember, the guys are now we, jumping in. How about we Sorry. slingshot the likes? Can we sling, slingshot the, the likes or something? Guys, slingshot the likes. Come on. Uh, if you like the content, hit the like button, hit the bell button for the notifications, and obviously subscribe to Banter Plus if you like this content. Get stuck in. Um, okay, let's finish this uh, this Uniswap chart. Uh, so that's the basic plan here. If we do get uh, a drift into that area, I'm expecting a reaction. I'm expecting a bounce. So scalpers, get ready in the zone. Any move for Uniswap down to uh, roughly, uh, call it eight. Yeah, any move into eight, you want to be fiddling around. You want to be looking for some kind of reaction there because I suspect the 200-day MA, uh, these daily horizontals and the 786 are going to give you something uh, to work with. And remember, if you're sitting in uni and you're sweating out, this is your most feasible region where you are going to get your next bounce. So if you are sitting right now in uni uh, at 8.9, it's a long way down still to this eight level. It's another 10 or 12% uh, that it can still drop. So just exercise caution there if you are trying to be in positions here and trying to be long. Uh, let it drift lower. Uh, eight is the real area that you're interested in. And then 7.3 is that 200-day MA uh, that is going to be the next uh, the next juicy zone. Okay, so uh, Uniswap is now looking sad. What do I do? What is the next option? Where do people put the money? Well, now, funnily enough, uh, they're trying to keep people off decentralized exchanges. Okay, that's clearly the move uh, from the SEC. Now, remember, uh, you know, we've seen this before. They attacked Ripple. What happened to Dump? They attacked Binance. What happened to Dump? They attacked Uniswap. What happened to dumped they attack coinbase are dumped um so we've seen this movie before we've seen this whole story before but who does this benefit now uh, if we are fiddling around uh, with these dexes well believe it or not it's going to benefit things like bnb or, or binance okay now binance have a token and uh, suddenly now if people want to be trading they might need to be buying bnb now because they might be using binance and these type of things so bnb could benefit from all of this FUD now uh, on uni. And uh, I was amazed to see this because I haven't looked at BNB properly in a couple of months. And we were trading BNB in this bear market down here. And uh, we were still joking about what an absolute dog shit coin this thing was. And uh, it was going to zero. We thought Binance was over. Uh, we thought this thing was completely finished. And uh, believe it or not, BNB is now nearly at all time highs once again. 
Okay, it's 660. Can you believe it? We are just around the corner. I did not think that we would see BNB pushing 600 again uh, anytime soon. And I'm talking when uh, I'm talking October last year. I'm talking September. Those sort of times when we were sitting around, I did not believe it. And uh, here we are again. So BNB could benefit. What happens if BNB starts breaking the 600 level? Well, price discovery, and uh, then there's massive targets that we can start looking at. We can start pulling uh, 1618 fibs and all these types of things. I still actually can't believe. I'm talking about BNB. I mean, this thing is just ridiculous. But uh, what do we have going on here? We've got a nice little uh, flag forming here on BNB. And uh, this could be a nice little setup here. So keep your eyes on this. If you were a fan of trading uni, uh, maybe you need to start looking now uh, at BNB. What do I like about this from support? Uh, 520. 520 region is a nice little support area for me. We've got good uh, weekly zones as well uh, coming into play here. So check this out. Uh, 520 to 530 BNB. And uh, if you're looking for something that could be a mover, that could be a play. And ultimately, we are looking for this pop and uh, a nice big one there for us. So uh, let's see. Let's see how BNB performs. And uh, here's a nice little, uh, oh, I've just drawn on this one, but a nice little comparison here that I made up for you guys here uh, between Uni and BNB, just to show you uh, what is going on. I mean, Uni hasn't got anywhere near uh, these all-time highs uh, that BNB has done. So, you know, BNB's primed uh, for some kind of performance here. I think, uh, I think they could really surprise us. And uh, Uni on this chart looking incredibly, incredibly sad. So uh, let's, see, let's see how that goes. Now, um, if you like BNB, Okay, you want to look at some other exchange tokens. What are the other exchange tokens out there? It's Qcoin, uh, it's BitGet, uh, it's Mexi, it's all these other exchanges. Um, I've looked at this BGB token and this is starting to look interesting to me. So this is the token uh, on the BitGet exchange. And, uh, you know, you can see it's starting to enjoy this uh, the current uni uh, the uni fud that is out there at the moment so uh, this bgb is looking bullish it's looking decent uh, at uh, these current levels and what i would suggest here uh, for bgb watch 1.17 as your big support zone uh, if you are looking for something that could be a good performer we know bitget is a nice little exchange and uh, they got some nice operations happening and uh, they are growing very nicely so this could be a nice banger for you guys if you're looking for a position watch your support all the way down uh, to 1.17 watch this zone but i do like what's going on here we've got a little flag at the moment and uh, we might be piercing this now remember this is the daily uh, so this would be a little flag break on lower time frame so yeah you can see over over here we've got our eight hour and you can see it's sticking its head out things could be uh, getting a little bit more bullish here for bgb so that's the bit get token uh take a look at that one now okay we're done with bgb we're done with bnb what else can i look at what what other things could do well here uh potentially and the most obvious ones that then come to mind for the stock trade okay we've got coinbase and uh, we've got uh, we've got robin hood so here's robin hood and uh, i haven't looked at this chart in uh, in a while and i actually forgot the size of the move that could come out of robin hood if there's an influx of users and this bull market really starts kicking off look at the size of this candle here we saw this in rune uh, not very long ago and uh, you know just a comparison wise rune came and took out these weekly candles so quickly and uh, i know we're talking crypto we're talking stocks and they might be different things but the charts don't lie and the charts look the same uh, in a in a certain respect so what i would say here for robin hood now if you guys are not trading uh, stocks of Obviously, you know, uh, then you can stick to BGB, you can stick to BNB. Um, but if you have access to stock platforms and you are a stock trader, this looks too juicy to ignore. Uh, this Robin Hood. So what I could say here, Robin Hood traders, you want to watch your support. 16.5. That's such a nice little area here. We've got the 50 day MA. We've got the 382. We've got weekly support. 16.5. That is your hot zone. If you get a move down here from Robin Hood, for me, that is a nice little buy zone. And uh, there's an easy target here, I would say. 34. Uh, look, I don't want to say too easy. But, uh, you know, if things start really running uh, in this crypto space, we should see some kind of move here uh, on Robin Hood. So eyes on 34 uh, as a potential move and uh, big support here. 50 day MA, 382 for weeklies uh, at around about, call it, call it 60, okay? Call it 60, that's your level uh, that you want to be watching. Herman, Herman says he's confused. 
<laughs> guys it's confusing the, the market's been tough the market's been tough out there um you know these alts uh, and, and 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 you can see it in the dominance that's playing out it's been very tight there and uh, they've sent us up and down up and down and uh, we haven't had one of those nice moves where we get a one week play uh, in a row you get seven days in a row where things are just pumping and you're opening positions and it's flying and you're showing your wife your PL uh, and all these things but that's coming okay it doesn't mean it's not coming back so just be patient those days are around the corner those moves uh, are still coming and like i was saying yesterday sometimes we just have to feel a bit of pain to really appreciate uh, the good times when those moves come because we really then are going to say geez that was worth the wait and that was worth the work um okay jelani wants some engine and uh, and magic token i saw some stuff on magic uh, actually floating around uh trobia said he's tp'd on tower now yes there was good news uh, on tower i do have that chart for you guys i just want to show you coinbase now this is the next uh potential proxy play here on this uni uh, weakness and uh, coinbase is open strong today you can see uh we are green now and we are pushing up this is the weekly but uh, this chart is looking nice on Coinbase at the moment and uh, big support. Now, remember, Kathy Wood sold her shares. So that generally means uh, that these things are going to pump. So uh, she recently offloaded some more shares and Coinbase is looking very similar to Robin Hood at the moment. We've got our 50 day MA and we've also got a 382 FIB holding up support. So Coinbase traders, 218 down to 210 for me. That is a beautiful area and uh, our upside target that you want to be watching. 360 for coinbase i can't see that not happening uh you know in the next couple of months i just can't see that not unfolding so watch this 210 it could be a nice easy trade there uh if you have access to these stock platforms you can jump in on this one and uh, could be a nice little move over the next say six months we could see coinbase uh pushing i think richard needs to know by sniper club because he's trying to get some short time frame trades richard bro Okay, uh, Sniper Club. There's a lot happening in Sniper Club. There is a link uh, in the description for you. So uh, we've got traders in the Sniper Club. It's myself and Sheldon. Then we've got DJ and David in there. We've got Bruce. We've also got Simon in there uh, doing things. We've got fundamentals going on in Sniper Club. Then the community is also trading in the Sniper Club. We have multiple chat groups and things like that. There's some excellent traders in the community. I've looked at their charts. I see what those guys are doing. Uh, there's some proper pros uh, sitting in the Sniper Club, just hanging around there uh, as part of the community we do multiple uh, live trading sessions for you we do psychology sessions we do all these things uh, so richard come join sniper club go uh, to the link in the description you're going to see you have access to all my charts that i do these charts you see on the show i, I preset them i watch them it's my watch list that i set up every day for you guys in uh, the sniper club there's something like 20 to 30 charts in there i also post sculpts and all these things and the other traders are also posting uh, their setups their ideas so you you're never going to not find something available there uh, or content for you in the sniper club so come and join us grab the link uh, in the description and there's bruce there there's bruce bruce you need to come jump in the back here and hang out with us you can't sit in the chats okay so there's bruce he is in the sniper club he's one of the sniper team members and uh, he looks after a lot of us uh, in there so uh, come and join bruce come and join us jump in here um we'll get bruce up here just now and see what uh, what he's up to he's probably just drinking his coffee uh, he's just woken up he's sitting in la um okay so we've covered hood we've covered coinbase we've covered bgb we've covered bnb so now you're covered now you understand you've got a long setup on uni uh, that's coming for you if you can just be patient let it drift lower and and, uh, you know your uh, your hedge plays as well okay uh, now what do i have for you i've got a radium this could be interesting because they don't have uh, this fee swaps or fee switch situation that uni is talking about but it is very confusing at the moment so it looks like uh, in general there is a basic uh, sell-off in DeFi uh, that we are seeing but uh, radium doesn't have the same system as uniswap and radium aren't getting sued right now so uh, let's see what happens but there could be a little bounce entry coming here uh, for radium roundabout 1.81 1.83 there could be a move coming here so if you like radium uh there's something happening here okay it doesn't look nearly uh, as bad as that uni swap chart and uh, we could be seeing a bounce very close very shortly uh here at radium so anything down to this 50-day moving average i would say take a look uh at radium there's bruce there he is He's just a did you say you were gonna let me out of my cage i mean <laughs> welcome 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 so guys this is actually no we gotta push him back out we're under 500 likes <laughs> come on guys give us some more likes i'm sure bruce is gonna give us a little uh, bruce is gonna give us a little something there 
Um, okay, I'm gonna get Bruce to build us a little setup there. I, I want to see what he's looking at. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll bring him up. We'll bring him up, right? Just uh, just watch the likes there for us. Okay. Um, okay. So radium we sorted. Then uh, something interesting here. I just brought Pyth to your attention again. Okay. So Pyth is obviously blowing their own trumpet here at the moment, but they're saying you think Pyth is just a Solana Oracle? Well, they're basically saying they power over 55 chains and counting. So there's a lot more. Uh, to Python meets the eyes. And uh, I mean, I know we like to call it the link of Solana, but uh, they seem to be thinking they are a lot bigger uh, than that. And we know the Pyth airdrop uh, situation. We know all these things uh, around Pyth. So there are bullish things and bullish things floating around. So uh, what I do like about Pyth at the moment is a nice little horizontal. You can see we've pinged this one once. Uh, we've pinged it uh, We've pinged it twice. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at this region here, the 0.736 for me to hold if we get a little push back here on pipe i'm looking uh, for a buy in this region so we are very close to a nice little support region for pipe keep an eye on this area uh you know pipe are doing things there undercover we do know that there's a lot of airdrop there's a lot of staking uh going on there with pipe so could be a lot of bullish things still coming out of pipe and when you get a support buy that is the time you want to be looking at it so any moves into the 618 for me and horizontal round about 0.73 i quite like uh, the look of it. So let's see. And uh, hopefully, Ray, it's going to be a little bit better than uh, than Celestia. You know, that that's still killing me, bro. <laughs> I can't actually deal with Celestia, bro. <laughs> who's trading Celestia? Let me know in the chat. Uh, who, who's, who's been trying to trade Celestia for the last uh, the last couple of weeks? Uh, it's been it's been absolute pain. It's been absolute pain. Um, okay, then there was some news on. Uh, oh, so here's Tao. So those of you that uh, were wondering about this pop today, uh, this was me on Twitter at uh, the Lord of Entry. Follow me on Twitter at the Lord of Entry. Uh, this was me suggesting Tao was looking quite bullish uh, not too long ago. This was a couple of days back, and uh, you know obviously they knew something we didn't okay because when a chart starts looking like that uh, you obviously uh, you can often see that uh, something is going to happen or something is brewing uh, in the air and uh, tower came and they popped there was a binance listing and uh, they really pumped this thing i mean look at this candle but uh, unfortunately it was sold off very quickly so what do we need to see now uh, if we bullish on tower and uh, you know we bullish on crypto in general at the moment and uh, we're looking for this market to hold up uh, we want to see this region hold for us now so anything down to 610 uh, if the bulls can start stepping in here then uh, we should be okay here on tile because then this uh, this head and shoulders can start playing out again for us this inverse head and shoulders so you can see they popped it once but i'd like to see a push up now and get uh, this candle sorted out so watch this zone closely if you are sitting in a tile position uh, for example, uh, you're going to now look at this 50-day MA as your support marker. So uh, you don't really want to exit this thing until you start closing under uh, this 50-day MA because that's going to be then potentially a bearish sign for us. So watch this 50-day MA uh, as support you on tile. So that's all the way down to 613. If you get a close under there, uh, then, uh, you know, tile's potentially coming a little bit lower uh, for you guys. Um, okay, I see Wonder Kid says chart Aave and Link. So I saw a little bit of weak weakness in Aave today, and uh, just must have been, you know, a, a little bit of this uh, Uniswap uh, uh, damage that's going on. I think some of the the DeFi tokens started selling off. Um, let's see who else is uh, hanging in the chats here. Um, <laughs> Mark says, is the airdrop counter broken? It just says keep loading. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Richard says, it's. Uh, I know you guys are having a full-on conversation here uh, in the chats. Kobe likes Robin Hood. Uh, yeah, look, that chart's looking good. Uh, uh, Coinbase is looking good as well. I like that. And uh, the legend's also looking good. There he is. I wonder if he's ready yet. We'll see just now. Uh, we'll see if he's got a... <laughs> Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a thumbs up from Ray. Um, okay, I got one more uh, I got one more token here for you, uh, Theta. Okay, now you don't see that one uh, too often on the show. And uh, Bruce, I mean, Theta has been a nice mover lately. They, they, Ray, bit of a darkness. Number Sniper's kept us uh, informed on it, and uh, I think it's got a really strong future, as well as a great trading token. Blue so wiki sometimes, but really good, yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to give you the traders out here a weekly view uh, on what is going on in theta mm -hmm. and why I'm bullish on this thing now. And, uh, you know, if any if there's any weakness for me on theta, you can see it's going to take a lot of damage to lose this major weekly level, because I think the next trade for theta is going to be quite a big one. I think the next theta trade is going to be something like 70 percent uh, that mm -hmm. is coming. 
for this move. So that is what I'm looking at closely at the moment. You can see Theta is forming some kind of flag here. And, uh, you know, it's looking bullish in this region. So I would say look in this look in this area. If we get some downside on Theta, this is a weekly chart. So remember, it's always less dramatic on the weekly. But if you get some downside here and they want to dump us, you can go all the way down. You can go 20% down on Theta and still be 100% bullish on this thing and uh, and confident that it's holding uh, these weekly areas. Look at these wicks down here. So even a 20% drawdown here on Theta for me uh, is a buy zone for this potential move higher. I think we're going to get a nice banger here when the market eventually decides which way yeah. it wants to go. Yeah, and it's holding, it's holding your 50-day moving average right now too. So are, you uh, as, are you as confused as me, Bruce? I'm always confused. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> okay show us what you're working on what do you what do you have well, brewing out there? i got a goodie that i called in sniper club uh let me share i uh, did this yesterday but it is still quite valid uh let's your screen let's take a look at our we um oh nice yeah it is, it is this i think it's sweet setup um we actually tried it a little higher and uh, right above that 15 moving average but it's come down to a really solid level. You know, su resistance, support, 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 support. And it tested support, well, wicked itself down, uh, pulled the fib uh, from the low, which is the beginning of that move right there. Um, it, it basically pinged exactly at the fib 786 and is holding this level nicely. Um, so I've already entered on this. Let me zoom in just a bit. Yeah, please um, zoom in there. Uh, so we're looking at, you know, in this general area over here, it's probably it seems like it's going to consolidate a little bit. So I've done a partial entry with the stop loss just below that wick. It's a little on the large side, but um, if you're confident this is going to bounce from here, then that's cool. But definitely have a stop under there to, to capture any any disasters that happen. Let me just ditch the fib so it's easier to see. Um, okay. The, so I'm gonna, a partial I entry. Right now. With you. What's that? I'm going to long this with you. So yeah. uh, what is my entry there? What, so you you in this thing already? I'm already in it. I got into it at uh, 30.1 or so. But anywhere in this region is fine. Uh, if it's, you know, I'm expecting it's kind of do a little bit of this for a while until Bitcoin makes its mind to turn green. Um, but but it, even when Bitcoin has been really pissy the last couple of days, um, um, our weave just kind of held a consolidation range there, which is what I look for. So anywhere in this box over here would be perfect. Um, and then what we're going to do is I do a partial entry over here, right? If it pulls down a little further, maybe add on to a little bit here. Uh, but definitely if it, gets, if it goes below that, get out because um, you're, you're, you're going to fill that gap over here. And what we'll mm -hmm. do is we'll simply pick it up again down in that region. But my hope for this right now is that do a partial entry over here, wait for it to break through the trend that it's been in for a while, and on the retest, I'll add a lot more in and uh, and hopefully go from there. And we're looking at about, um, you, know, you know, this pump, could, you could take a, a short one right over there for 15, 16%. Uh, or you can see if this um, this push, um, when Bitcoin decides to turn positive, uh, if Bitcoin gets strong, um, you could be looking anywhere from a 30 to 45% uh, percent pump. So that's okay, kind of what I'm going to up. I'm, I'm going to pull up my trading exchange here, Weeks. Okay, so guys, th there's a link for Weeks in the description below, underneath the show. Okay, so you can see what I've just done now, looking at Bruce's setup. I've opened up uh, a small position now on Arweave. What yep. I'm going to do is now add a limit order lower down. So I'm going to yep. add another order here, Bruce, at 30, just above yep. 30. Works so for I'm me. Just, what I've done I'm going to go 30.05. I'm going to add another small order in this region here. So if there is more weakness on uh, our weave, it's going to send it lower and uh, we're going to get that buy in. Okay. So there's my second uh, buy order that I've put in Love here it. on week and then uh, exit <laughs> under the lows, Bruce. So yeah, I think they're pulling the lows because that means we're going to drop another five, 10%. That's... Okay. So then I'm going to put a stop loss uh, here. So I'm going to click trigger order. Uh, no, in fact, what I can do is I can go onto the trade. There it is. So I'm going to click stop loss. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is that stop zone there, Bruce, under the candle? Uh, let me look again. Hang on. Uh, on my chart, it is anywhere under 29.02. Okay, so I'm going to go 28.95. Okay, yeah. and then I'm going to say 100% of that mm -hmm. position. Okay, yeah. so there we go. Now, I've set a stop loss as well uh, on weeks. 
Okay, and if you're interested in trading on weeks, they have got multiple offers for you guys. It's actually ridiculous. You don't get offers like this too uh, too often uh, out there. There's sign up bonuses and trading bonuses up to 20% on some of the tiers that they're giving. Uh, they're busy with a $10,000 giveaway to the lucky people that sign up using the link in the description. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are also KYC friendly and they've got RIDS protection. Your first trade, once you've signed up to weeks, your first official trade there, they're going to protect your losses uh, up to 300 so take a look at weeks if you are interested in uh, a new trading exchange take a look give it a go and uh, you can see a nice little platform as well that shows you quite clearly uh, you know where your orders are waiting where your stops are and you can also you can move them around and all these things so okay bruce that was great thank you nice one you're very uh, welcome my brother i've got one more update for the guys hang around bruce if you want okay uh, this yeah. is uh ton Okay, so this was a, a sculptor setup I put in Sniper Club today. Uh, I just gave a couple of levels that I was looking at, and uh, I was looking for this move down uh, into the 3A2. So uh, we've had a quite a big reaction here on Ton, but I, I see we've had a, a very big sell-off after that. So uh, you can see what happened here on these 15-minute candles. It's pushed into my 3A2, which was my area that I'd marked. Uh, yep. on Sniper yep. Club for where I was looking for a bounce. And uh, they gave us that reaction. I mean, that was beautiful, but uh, they cut it four percent and they sold us back okay so uh ton traders if you are looking for a position in ton now we know the market is hot uh for ton at the moment uh you yeah. need to be you know you need to be a little bit greedy with entries you need to plan where you can buy these things uh if you're trying to if you're trying to snipe something so watch this level now for ton 7.19 watch that area look for a reaction there 7.19 and uh, if they do bleed it lower now during the course of uh, the day let's say we get more market weakness on btc yeah. Yeah. We know there's strength in Tom. Okay, so we know it's going to potentially recover quite quickly. So yeah. that's where you want to be. So on any weakness, you want to buy the tokens that are trading well and and uh, you know showing strength. And uh, I would say if there is a dip now on Ton, you want to look a little bit lower, six point eight eight. Watch that nice little juicy zone. You can see we got six one eights, we got horizontals there uh, tied in for you as well. And then a little bit lower down, there's a nice little area mm -hmm. lower down, nice scalper zone for you. So if you're yeah. building positions or you're looking for scalps, these are probably your best bets uh, and uh, areas that I would be looking at. So there was a nice reaction here. You can see these flips play so well. Um, nice little reaction, no follow through yet. So uh, those are the ton plays. And uh, another update, I mean, you guys won't believe this, uh, Tuka that I, I spoke about <laughs> yesterday is blown up again. Okay. I love that. I mean, that. This, thing, I mean this thing, I bought this year something like, I think, two or three million dollar market cap. Okay. It's now $60 million. Okay. I, I don't understand memes. I buy them when you tell me to buy them, but I don't get them. <laughs> There's nothing to get. When you're trading meme coin, you've got to be max dumb. The dumber yep. you are and the less you think about it, the better it is. And yep. you're going to hit one in five. You might yep. even hit one in ten. Yeah. Um, I love it. So, I love it. So, so, okay, I would watch. Okay, <laughs> I would watch big support levels. Okay, so you don't really want to buy pumps uh, on these yeah. meme coins because we know they, they get volatile and uh, they give yeah. you these moves down. Okay, so uh, Tuka, watch this big support here for me. Zero point zero three eight. And, uh, you know, I'd expect this thing to bounce back quite quickly if it does uh, push down to that level. So uh, you can see the size of these moves here. I mean, this could be a, a quick 100% bounce uh, on this Tuka. So watch yep. this level, 0 0.038. You can see what this thing has done in, uh, you know, in a couple of days, uh, basically. Look at this thing. This was yesterday. We were in, this was our buy zone, okay? So yesterday yeah. on the show, this is what I was looking at, this region here. Okay, and uh, I mean, if you bought it there yesterday, actually, let me know if, if anyone got this thing. Three hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> wow. And it'll it'll be there and gone in a heartbeat. So get in, yeah. get your money, so and run. Watch your levels, watch your areas, and yeah. when you're trading meme coins, obviously take your profits. You know, if you had a nice big move, take profits. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And we know there's volatility in these things; they pop up and down. They, you know, a lot of up, a lot of down uh yeah. and uh, that sort of thing okay uh guys that's cool. that's a wrap okay bruce thanks for hanging <laughs> oh it was funny to join. I, just finished, I just finished um actually we uh have a new moderator group in sniper club we just finished a a training with them unbelievable group of people so proud of them and their commitment to, to the growth as traders of the whole community and making sure that every single person that's there gets uh everything they dreamed of so pretty excited Catch the legend in Sniper Club. Thanks for hanging, Bruce.
Okay, guys, let's just uh, one more recap here on BTC. I just want to make sure you've got your levels. And uh, look, we seem to be holding uh, a kind of very confused candle. I just want to show you this candle again. So, you know, you, you, you're you forgiven for feeling confused. I mean, look at this type of candle they're giving us. This is the four hour that I'm watching. And uh, I mean, this is very undecided. There's a lot of indecision here. A little bit of up, a little bit of down. The market can't decide what it wants to do. Um, but uh, watch these areas, your big zones again. Watch the low now from earlier today that we were we were live with. So 69,600, watch that level. Uh, watch your next level is 68,800. Uh, that's going to be a big one. That 68,800 is a big one for me. And uh, if they're really going to push us lower, 67,600. Those are the numbers you need to watch. That's what you got to keep your eyes on plus dominance. And uh, then you should be okay. All right, trade safely. Watch your big levels. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck. Mm -hmm.